Good morning, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on the femoral nerve block. Indications For anesthesia for surgery on the anterior thigh, for example, skin grafting, quadriceps muscle biopsy, and quadriceps tendon repair. For superficial surgery on the medial aspect of the leg below the knee, for example, for long saphenous vein stripping. For foot and ankle surgery, in combination with proximal sciatic or popliteal sciatic block. And for surgery of the leg, in combination with proximal sciatic and obturator block. Analgesic indications includes femur fracture of the neck or the shaft of femur, total hip replacement, and for knee surgery, for example, anterior cruciate reconstruction and total knee replacement, continuous LA infusions using nerve block catheters for extending the block post-operatively after TKRs. Contraindications for femoral nerve block includes previous ileoinguinal surgery, such as femoral vascular graft and kidney transplantation, large inguinal lymph nodes or tumour, local infection, peritoneal infection, and pre-existing femoral nerve neuropathy. Adverse effects or complications of femoral nerve block Vascular puncture, especially with peripheral nerve stimulator techniques. Maintain a palpating finger on the femoral pulse while inserting the needle just lateral and parallel to the pulse and do not direct the needle medially. Hematoma To reduce the hematoma size once a vessel has been punctured, stop the procedure and apply pressure over the puncture site for 2-3 to three minutes. Nerve injury this is less likely as the nerve will often separate out into its branches. Measures to reduce the risk of nerve injury includes When using a nerve stimulator, avoid LA injection when motor response is present at less than 0.3 mA, 0.1 ms. Paresthesia is rarely elicited with femoral nerve block and should not be sought or relied on to indicate an intraneural injection. Abort LA injection if the patient complains of severe pain do not inject when high pressures on LA injection is encountered. Use the minimal efficient volume and concentration of LA required to achieve the block, typically 15 to 20 mL. Can you refer to the video on peripheral nerve stimulation in peripheral nerve blocks for further details? Catheter infection. To reduce this risk, use strict aseptic technique during catheter insertion. Remove the catheter after 48 to 72 hours. The risk of infection increases with time. Falls due to quadriceps weakness. Femoral nerve block is associated with quadriceps weakness. Inform the patient regarding the inability to bear weight on the extremity that underwent femoral nerve block. To reduce the risk of falls due to impaired knee extension and weight bearing on the site where the femoral nerve was blocked, use knee immobilizers for ambulation. Choice of local anesthetic. The LA concentration depends whether anesthesia or analgesia is to be achieved. For surgical anesthesia, use local anesthetic with a higher concentration, such as lidocaine 1.5 to 2% or ropivacaine 0.5 to 0.75%. If analgesia alone is to be achieved, use LA with a lower concentration, such as ropivacaine or bupivacaine 0.2 to 0.25%. This table demonstrates the onset and duration of anesthesia and analgesia of 20 mL of various local anesthetics in femoral nerve blocks. For example, 2% lidocaine has an onset of 10 to 20 minutes, anesthesia duration of 2 to 5 hours, and analgesic duration of 3 to 8 hours. 0.5% ropivacaine has an onset of 15 to 30 minutes, anesthesia duration of 4 to 8 hours, an analgesic duration of 5 to 12 hours. Ropivacaine 0.75% has an onset time of 10 to 15 minutes, anesthesia duration of 5 to 10 hours, and analgesia duration of 6 to 24 hours. 0.5% bupivacaine has an onset of 15 to 30 minutes, anesthesia duration of 5 to 15 hours, and analgesic duration of 8 to 30 hours. Peripheral Nerve Stimulator Technique Introduction Historically, a femoral nerve block was achieved without peripheral nerve stimulation, but by direct injection using a combination of loss of resistance, blind infiltration, and paresthesia. 
During a femoral nerve block, blockade of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh is achieved in more than 60% of cases, and successful blockade can be increased by using a more lateral landmark technique. Important landmarks include the anterior superior iliac spine, pubic tubercle, inguinal ligament, and femoral artery. Patient position should be supine, with the hip of the side to be blocked, abducted 10 to 20 degrees, and slightly externally rotated. If the patient is obese, using tapes to hold up adipose tissue helps to optimize exposure to the femoral crease. Identify the surface marking of the inguinal ligament, indicated by a line joining the ASIS and the PT. At the midpoint of the inguinal ligament, palpate for the femoral artery. Mark the needle insertion point, which is 1 to 2 cm distal to the inguinal ligament and 1 cm lateral to the femoral artery pulsation. General measures include preparation of monitoring emergency drugs and IV access. Prepare the standard regional anesthesia tray, which typically contains sterile towels and gauze packs, 20 ml syringe with local anesthetic, sterile gloves, marking pen, 125 gauge 1.5 inch needle for skin infiltration, a 5 cm long short bevel insulated stimulating needle, a peripheral nerve stimulator and a surface electrode, and injection pressure monitor. Perform standard aseptic measures and anesthetize the skin. Kindly refer to the video on peripheral nerve stimulation in peripheral nerve blocks for further details. Needle of choice is as mentioned, a 5 cm short bevel insulated needle. Needle insertion. Insert the needle through the skin at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees in a cephalic direction at the marked point as mentioned above. The lower abdomen is retracted laterally to allow access to the inguinal area in obese patients. Two pops or losses of resistance should be felt as the needle passes through the fascia lata, which is the first pop, and fascia iliaca, which is the second pop. Needle depth. The femoral nerve is typically located at the depth of 12 mm plus minus 4 mm from the skin. Nerve stimulation. The needle is connected to a nerve stimulator set at a current intensity of 1 mA, 0.1 ms, 2 Hz. The desired motor response is the patella twitch, which arises from stimulation of the quadriceps via the posterior division of the femoral nerve. Once the patella twitch is observed, the current is gradually decreased while the needle is advanced. Manipulate the needle until patella twitch is still seen at a stimulating current of 0.3 to 0.5 mA. LA injection. Disconnect the syringe before injection to exclude passive reflux of blood. Inject 5 ml aliquots of LA while aspirating regularly to exclude intravascular injection. LA dose. Do not exceed the maximum safe LA dose especially if other concurrent nerve blocks are performed, for example sciatic nerve block. A total of 20 to 30 ml of LA is sufficient. Some books recommend 15 to 20 ml of LA only. Choice of LA has been discussed in the previous section. Useful tips. Possible responses to nerve stimulation and recommended adjustments. Patella twitch. The posterior division branches of the femoral nerve supplying the quadriceps are stimulated. Needle position is perfect. Action. Stabilize the needle and reduce the current threshold to 0.3 to 0.5 mA and inject the LA. If contraction of the medial bulk of the quadriceps occur, redirect the needle more laterally and vice versa if contraction of the lateral bulk of the quadriceps occurs. Sartorius twitch. Nerve to the sartorius or the sartorius muscle itself is stimulated. The spread of LA to the posterior division of the femoral nerve cannot be guaranteed with injection at this point. The needle position may be too superficial too lateral or too medial, action. Reposition the needle more medially or laterally and insert the needle deeper. Local twitch. The iliacus psoas or pectineus muscle is stimulated. Needle position is too deep, action. Withdraw the needle and reinsert the needle as described in the technique mentioned above. No response. Needle position is too medial or too lateral in subcutaneous tissues. Withdraw the needle Repalpate for the femoral arterial pulse and begin needle insertion nearer to the femoral artery. Vascular puncture. Femoral artery, femoral circumflex artery, or femoral vein is punctured. Needle position is too medial. Withdraw the needle, 
and repalpate and redirect the needle more laterally to the femoral artery. Bone contact. Needle tip contacts the hip or superior ramus of the pubic bone. Needle position is too deep. Withdraw the needle and reinsert the needle as described in the technique mentioned above. Other tips. The femoral nerve can be up to 3 cm lateral to the femoral artery. The commonest cause for failure of femoral nerve block is LA injection being far too distal from the inguinal crease as the femoral nerve is now a collection of branches. Ultrasound Technique Benefits of ultrasound guided femoral nerve block includes less volume of LA required, less risk of vascular or nerve damage, reduced latency of onset of block, allows monitoring of the spread of LA and needle placement to make appropriate adjustments to accomplish the desired deposition of LA. Ultrasound settings. Use a high-frequency linear broadband probe set at the depth of 3 to 4 cm with a transverse or slightly oblique orientation. Needle length of choice is 50 to 80 mm. Preliminary scan. Patient position is supine with lower limbs in neutral position. Ultrasound probe placement is longitudinally along the inguinal crease on the patient in a transverse or oblique position. Identify the femoral artery, which is pulsatile and anechoic. Identify the division of the common femoral artery into the superficial femoral and deep femoral arteries by scanning cordat and cephalat. Ensure that needle insertion is above this level, close to the inguinal ligament. The femoral vein, which is compressible, distendable and anechoic. The iliacus, the sartorius, the fascia lata, which is more superficial than the fascia iliaca. Both are hyperechoic layers. The fascia lata continues medially, superficial to the femoral sheath. The deeper fascia iliaca encloses the iliacus muscle, passing posterior to the femoral sheath. The femoral nerve is identified beneath the fascia iliaca on the medial border of the iliacus. It is seen lateral and deep to the femoral artery, typically at a depth of 2 to 4 cm, it is a hyperechoic structure in a triangle between the femoral artery, iliacus, and subcutaneous tissues. Its shape is crescent or flattened in shape. It is often observed as a collection of nerves rather than a distinct nerve entity. To help with nerve identification, angulate the ultrasound probe. Technique Femoral nerve block can be done out of plane or in plane. Out of plane is better for catheter insertions. If in-plane technique is used, needle insertion is from lateral to medial, the in-plane technique is preferable to achieve good spread of LA around the nerve. General measures, prepare monitoring, emergency drugs and IV access, prepare nerve block equipment, standard aseptic measures, and anesthetize the skin. Needle insertion, direct the needle just lateral to the nerve underneath the fascia iliaca, the needle tip should be immediately adjacent to the lateral aspect of the femoral nerve below the fascia iliaca or between the two layers of fascia iliaca that surrounds the femoral nerve. LA injection. After negative aspiration for blood, inject 1 mL of LA to confirm position deep to the fascia iliaca. With fractionated injections of LA and careful needle positioning, aim to peel the femoral nerve off the fascia iliaca above and iliacus muscle below. Proper LA deposition, LA spreads circumferentially around the femoral nerve and separates it from the fascia iliaca layers. Scan distally and proximally to confirm the circumferential spread of LA around the nerve. 15 to 20 mL of LA should be sufficient. The choice of LA has been discussed in the previous section. Tips Role of peripheral nerve stimulation during ultrasound guided femoral nerve blockade. Peripheral nerve stimulation is not required to achieve a successful femoral nerve block. However, the motor response observed during nerve stimulation often provides contributory safety information should the needle-nerve relationship be missed by ultrasound alone. Application of downward pressure to the ultrasound probe often optimizes the image of the femoral nerve. However, this downward pressure may collapse veins and hide their presence risking inadvertent intravascular injection during nerve block, release pressure on the transducer to locate the femoral vein, which is typically medial to the femoral artery, but can occasionally be deep or even lateral to it. Downward pressure on the ultrasound probe 
may compress the interfacial space and interfere with the adequate spread of local anesthetic. Thus, the transducer pressure should be released and vasculature reasserted before LA injection. The femoral nerve is more easily identified when the ultrasound probe is tilted slightly cranially or caudally. Always approach the femoral nerve from lateral to medial rather than medial to lateral. The medial edge of the femoral nerve may be obscured by lateral shadowing from the femoral artery. High resistance to LA injection. This may signal an intrafascicular needle placement or needle tip position in a wrong fascial plane. The needle should be repositioned. Do not inject LA when high resistance is encountered. To achieve good circumferential spread of LA around the femoral nerve, place the needle beneath the femoral nerve using the in-plane technique. Inject the LA to cause the femoral nerve to float up. In doing so, the nerve becomes brighter and also splits into its component branches. Block assessment. To assess for sensory blockade, use coal or pinprick tests on the anterior and medial aspect of the thigh to assess for femoral nerve blockade and on the medial aspect of the lower leg to assess for saphenous nerve blockade. To assess for motor block, this is evaluated by asking the patient to extend the knee. The 3-in-1 block. This is a term coined by Winnie in 1973. This refers to a single injection high volume technique via an anterior femoral perivascular approach to achieve blockade of the lumbar plexus. The following nerves are aimed to be blocked. The femoral nerve, the obturator nerve, which originates from the lumbosacral plexus L2 to L4 and supplies the adductor muscles of the hip, part of the hip joint, skin on the medial side of the thigh, and part of the knee joint. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, which supplies the skin over the anterior lateral aspect of the thigh as far as the knee, and skin over the lateral thigh from the greater trochanter down to the level of the mid thigh. A larger volume of local anesthetic is used. 30 ml or more, and during injection, firm distal pressure is applied to have the local anesthetic spread rostrally back up into the psoas compartment so that all three nerves are blocked. These nerves can also be blocked within the psoas compartment itself. Efficacy The benefits of the 3-in-1 block are inconsistent and may not provide adequate analgesia for hip surgeries. In many cases, a 3-in-1 block will not provide reliable analgesia for cutaneous sensation above the level of the greater trochanter which is the site of incision for most hip surgeries. The reliability of adequate proximal spread of LA to reach the lumbar plexus is poor, especially for reliable blockade of the obturator nerve, which is achieved only in 4-30% to by this approach. Thus, the 3-in-1 block is now considered a misnomer and its use is not encouraged. The 3-in-1 block has been described as a nerve block in search of an operation. These are my references. Thank you.